All right, today's goal is to create an agent that uses the detect block. So the detect block looks like this. Talk about the detect block by itself and the not detecting and ways you can use it. So for this purpose, I'm teleport our agent over here. And one command I call have is a mind chef. Okay. We're gonna do a annotated version of this one. Um, this does a three by three down into the ground. It will um, collect the resources and place a ladder as it goes down so you can get down in there. Um, this agent is gonna keep going all the way down and it repeats every time it detects something below it. So at the beginning of each cycle, when it doesn't detect anything below it, it's not going to continue anymore. So this is for like detecting um, caves below or if it ever reaches all the way down until the void all the way down. Um, so good, I see some bats there. So he stopped placing because there's nothing below him. So if I head down there, our agent stopped because he found an, a cave. So let's say, let's show you another way to use this command. Um, so let's say I find a ravine, I'm in survival mode, and oh, I need to get down there because there's lots of great resources. I mean, I have a water bucket on me or I may not be able to get to that water. So one way to do it, pretend I'm not in creative, um, I find a good spot to line up, oops, and I'm gonna call my agent over. Um, I have a command that has the agent walk forward a few steps. So I need him to walk forward about five steps. We call it F6. We'll do six steps. Okay. So now what he's going to do is I'm going to run this command. And he's going to, if there's nothing below him, I, it's, he's going to keep going down until he finds something. So this, this command detects if anything's below him. Once he detects something below him, he's going to move up place a water bucket so then I can jump into it right so now I have a nice place to jump into and now I'm down here okay so I'm gonna show you two ways to do this uh, detect command okay let's head back up here we'll do an annotated dig down and then we'll do a um, an agent that doesn't detect anything do something okay all right we can do project for this one we're gonna call this agent detect okay usually when create a project like this, just has two codes, but just for this purpose. So the one we're really gonna focus on is, um, well, first of all, I need to get some agent um, orientation. So I'm gonna pause the video and create those real quick. Okay, so I quickly created some um, just movement commands. So this teleports them to me, turns the agent right or left. And I also wanna create a forward command. And I'm gonna show you how to do a variable just like I just, I just showed you. Uh, I just how I just showed. So I'm going to click this plus sign, and it has this variable here, number. So for this one, I'm going to have agent move forward. Usually we have an agent move forward by one or two. You'd have to manually put in this number. But if it's variable, that means that I can put in any number, and it will change each time depending on what number I put in. So by clicking this plus sign, I get this little number here. I click on variables, put this number here, put this here. So I'm going to type the word forward in any number then it's going to agents move forward that many times. So let me show that real quick here. So tally, I think, is the command. So now if I want him to walk one, two, three, four, five, or six, get him out there, I would say forward and space and six. And he didn't go. Let's try again. I may have spelled, yep, forward is spelled incorrectly on my coding here. That does matter. Spelling counts. All right, push play here. Let's try it again. Spelling correctly forward six, there he goes, six times, okay? Then he can go down and search. All right, so let's work on the next part. So now we're gonna have this agent, um, we'll actually do the dig down first here, okay? So we'll call this one the dig down. And our agent, our first command, he's going to destroy down. Then he's going to move down and then basically repeat the process, okay? Um, so let's show what that looks like. And that's okay spot, dig down, one spot, right? And basically he's gonna repeat that all the way down. Um, but now what I need is I need a ladder in front of him. And then rather than me typing dig down 20 times 
or doing a repeat command, you know, repeat 40 times, repeat 100 times. I'm going to do the detect command, OK? So first, let's set up the placing blocks just so we have at least one cycle down. So I'm going to get the agent set block. Um, it's always good practice to do the set active slot right after you do this, uh, especially when you have a lot of these blocks and you're setting lots of actives. Um, this tells the agent which, um, which slot to use. Um, the slot from left to right, top to bottom. So we're going to make this a letter. And as you get more complicated, you might have entire workshops or entire buildings you're making with these commands. So it's good to always set an active after. Okay. So then he's going to set the active one, and he's going to place forward. Okay. All right. So let's try a different spot here. Let me turn the daylight on here. All right. Here we go. All right. Tell the agent to me. That's not my command. Here he is. Okay, so now if I type dig down, do it once, right? So now I want him to repeat this over and over again until he detects nothing below him. So if he's on top of ground, I want him to repeat this. So we're going to go to while false. Put this all in here. And we want to, we're going to turn this to while true, but we have to determine what's true. For this, it's going to be this, this command. This says, while the agent detects a block down, keep doing these things. Okay, so it's going to do detect a block down, do one cycle, and then recheck. If something's still below him, it's going to keep doing it. Okay, so let's teleport him to here. Keep getting my commands. Whether one has that, okay. So then we'll do uh, down. And there we go. He's digging down until he finds nothing below him. He's going to continue until he finds the cave or until he gets all the way to the void. And it's helpful to have him place a ladder here so I can follow him down here and see what he's doing, right? Um, you can notice that he has all these supplies with him. So I need to add a collect command or I need to um, not worry about those items. There could be some good items, so I'm going to add a collect command, okay? And obviously, to make this tunnel better, you just add destroy right, destroy left, and have move around a little bit. Um, you can determine that later. So it looks like he made it all the way to, I can't render that far. That might be all the way to the void, and I don't want to jump down there. So let's try our next spot, our next agent. So I'm going to reset this here, stop him. So now I want our next agent to go off the, the, the edge here. And then once I want him to find the ground and lay a bucket of water for me at the bottom there. Okay. So for this command, we're going to use the not. And you'll see why this makes sense in a moment here. So we're going to call this the, uh, the old MLG water bucket. Call it MLG. Okay. So we're going to go to agent. He's going to, uh, we'll get the loop command now while and then i'll throw this in here so it looks like while the agent detects something down and since he's over air he won't be able to move here right so while the agent detects the block this right now if there's air below him nothing's going to happen because there's no block to detect um, downwards right so we need to get this logic command and we need to get this not so it's kind of like a, a don't if you don't detect that so it says Agent, while you're not detecting anything below you, do this. So if there's nothing below you, do what's inside here. And what I want to do is I want him to move down by one. Okay, so this says, Agent, while there's nothing, while there's not anything below you, while you don't detect anything below you, Agent, move down. Okay, then once it gets to the point where it does detect something, it will stop. And then we'll move on to our next line here. So then our next line, um, let's just show you what this looks like first. Okay, so far as I need to get my agent in the right spot. Then we're gonna have him move forward. Uh, let's say five steps. That's good enough. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's go more. Okay. So now we need him to go. Downward, what did I call that command? MLG. All right, I'm gonna type in MLG. 
So now while he's not detecting anything below him, he's going to keep going down. Boom. Okay, so once he gets this point, I need him to lay a water bucket right here so I can jump into it. So I'm going to have him move up so there's space for him. Oops, so there's space for him to place it down. Get my commands here. Set blocker item. Go to blocks. I'm going to get the item because it's a water bucket. And I'm going to set active again. It's always good practice to, uh, to do set active right after you put the commands because you want to use that. And then we're going to place the water bucket down. Where are you? Always skipping it. Okay. So this looks good to me. Well, I don't select anything down. Keep moving down. Once this is not true anymore, move over, move over to the next thing. Move up. Set your, your block. Set your active, which is slot one, and place it downwards. I'm glad I read through that and checked it. All right. So let's head up here and try it again. All right. Move my agent up here. Move my teleport command. He's going to move forward. Uh, let's say five again. You spell it right. Four, word, five. Oops. All right. And then now we'll type the old MLG code. It's going to sync down, keep detecting or not detecting. Once he does detect something, move up. And now I can jump down there and be safe. Okay. So this is a quick way to show you how to, you can use these detect commands. The possibilities are really limitless, right? We can make this a larger. Uh, we can have them place other things and detect other things. Um, these commands can also detect redstone. Okay. So in future videos, we'll talk about how these can activate redstone or use redstone to follow. Um, lots of amazing things we can do with this. All right. So thanks for watching. See ya.